Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure Postgres Code 17 version on AWS EC2 instance for Ubuntu. Okay, I see I have AWS EC2 instance which is created by using Ubuntu Linux distribution. If you don't have AWS EC2 instance for Ubuntu, then search for my YouTube channel how to create AWS EC2 instance for Ubuntu. Okay, once we create it, click on connect, then use this SSH command and go to the terminal or CMD, then connect. Okay, just paste it, hit enter, that's it. See, I have connected to AWS EC2 instance for Ubuntu 24.04. Now we'll install and configure Postgres SQL 17 version on this AWS EC2 instance. Open new tab, go to Postgres SQL official website, that is Postgres SQL dot ORC. Hit enter, control A, then click on download, then select Linux, then select Ubuntu. See. Postgres SQL M repository currently supports on 24.04, 24.10, 24.04, 22.04, and 20.04. Okay, so to install Postgres SQL on AWS EC2 instance for Ubuntu 24.04, we have to install these commands one by one. Copy it, paste it. See both both CA certificates and calls are newer versions. Okay, next install this PJDG, paste it, it is done. Now import this sign, sign in key, repository sign in key. Paste it, it is done. Now copy, create the repository configuration file, copy this entire command, both the lines, paste it, hit enter. Now update the packages, sudo apt update, hit enter. See all packages are up to date. Now install the process SQL. See here. If you want to install Postgres SQL 17, you have to use the command Postgres SQL 17. If you don't give the version, it will install the latest version. So, sudo apt get install Postgres SQL 17. If you want to install 17, if you want to install 16, 16. If you want to install, give 15. So, I want to install latest one. So, don't give the version. Hit enter. See, it is going to install Postgres SQL 17 version. Okay. So type here for confirmation and hit enter. See we have successfully installed Postgres SQL. See here, these are the default values that configured. Okay. Now connect to Postgres SQL Server, but before that verify the Postgres SQL Server status. So the system CTL, control L, status, Postgres SQL, hit enter, see Postgres SQL Server is active and running. Now connect to Postgres SQL Server, SU hyphen Postgres, PSQL, see we have successfully connected, see here version 17.4, this is not Postgres SQL Server version, this is the post PSQL client version. Now verify the version, select version. See, we have installed Postgres SQL 17.4. This is the version of the Postgres SQL Server. Q to quit, control A. The first step after connecting to Postgres SQL Server is we have to set the password for the Postgres user, which is the super user. Backslash du is the command to verify the list of the users. See, we have only one user, that is super user. Now set the password for this user. Alter user Postgres with password provide the password see whatever is there in single or double quotes it is the password so we have successfully set the password for this super user now verify the list of the databases we can verify the list of the databases by running the data command that is backslash l see these are the default databases that comes with postgres sql instruction or we can get the list of the databases by running the command select dat name from pg underscore database see these are the default databases okay let us create database create database now verify control l now verify the same see new database bank is created let us connect to this data now let us switch to this database and create a table to switch to database we have to use the command backslash c or connect either is same then provide the database name. 
now see here the message you are now connected to database bank as user first case now if I delete list of the tables backslash dt see you don't have any tables so let us create a table create table customer See, we have a table in public schema and this is the owner of the table. Let us insert some data into this table. Insert one more row. Now verify the data. See, we have inserted these rows. Control A. Now, create a user. Before that, verify again. See, we have only one, one user. Create user. See, we have created user. Now, exit from the PostgreSQL by using backslash Q. Then connect. PostgreSQL with this new user backslash psql hyphen u localhost hyphen d provide the database name postgres hit enter sorry i forgot to give username here username is james hyphen h hit enter then provide the password of this james user see whatever is there in single or double quotes that is the password see here it is the password okay so provide the password See, we have successfully connected with the new user, James. Let us verify the current user. Select current underscore user. See, we have connected to PostgreSQL server with the user, James. Okay, now try to switch to this bank database. Now try to run the query against the customer table. See, permission needed for the table customer. Okay, control it. So, we have created user, but we haven't granted any privileges. That's why we have received that error. Now we exit from the PostgreSQL server, exit from this PostgreSQL user. Now we will see how to stop, start, and restart PostgreSQL server from the AWS EC2 instance. sudo systemctl stop PostgreSQL. Now verify the status sudo systemctl status PostgreSQL. See PostgreSQL service inactive. Let also try to connect to PostgreSQL server sudo su hyphen PostgreSQL. PSQL, see we are unable to connect because PostgreSQL server is stopped. So exit and start it again. Sudo system CTL start PostgreSQL. Now verify the status again. See we have started PostgreSQL service two seconds ago. Control it. If you want to restart, just give sudo system CTL, just give restart. PostgreSQL. Hit enter. See, we have restarted two seconds ago. Q to Q. Okay. Control. You can also connect PostgreSQL from the PG admin or DB one. Okay. I'm not going to show you how to connect. Okay. So in this video, we have seen how to install and configure PostgreSQL 17.4 on AWS EC2 instance for Ubuntu 24.04. Okay. For more tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.